Hi, my name is Magnar Nordahl. I am a captain and instructor on ATA aircraft. In this video, I will show you the procedure for engine failure at takeoff in an ATA 72-600. This is a very critical exercise, and airline pilots practice it in simulator every six months. I have divided the screen into two main parts. The left side is generic. On the top, I will show all actions and colors made by each of the pilots, as described in the flight crew training manual. In the video, we talk a little more than that. The captain is pilot flying, and the first officer is pilot monitoring. This is the flight guidance control panel, FGCP. A hand symbol will show all the actions executed by the pilots on this panel. This is the flight mode annunciator, FMA. It is located on top of the primary flight display in front of each pilot. Some changes of the modes are initiated by the pilots acting on the flight guidance control panel. Other changes are automatic. Here the FMA shows the mode selected before takeoff. The right side is a video from the simulator. This is the IESI, the Integrated Electronic Standby Instrument. It shows airspeed, artificial horizon, altimeter, VHF radio 1 and VRI less 1. This is our backup if all of the screens go black. Below is the power management selector. It is set to take up position. And this green label indicates that we have icing conditions for takeoff and we are using icing speeds. When we have icing speeds, we have the paradox that the speed for final takeoff, VFTO, is slightly less than V2 plus 5, which is standard speed for second segment climb. Despite this, we will follow standard procedure and level off at acceleration altitude, set MCT power and then continue climbing. Here is the engine control panel, where you will see the status of the ATPCS, the Automatic Takeoff Power Control System. It plays an important role when an engine fails at takeoff. Below is the EWD, the engine warning display. This is where most of the action is shown. The upper part shows primary engine indications, which are torque, NP, propeller speed, and ITT, inter-turbine temperature. To the left are trim and flaps indicators. Below are the alert and procedure windows, where we have the electronic checklists. When cleared for takeoff, the captain will advance the power levers and the torque will increase to 90%. When power is increasing, the ATPCS arm light will illuminate. Engine 1 will fail shortly after V1, the takeoff decision speed, and we will continue the takeoff. The engine failure causes the torque to drop rapidly to zero. This triggers the ATPCS, which will increase engine number two torque to 100%, and then feather propeller number one, which means NP will drop to zero. In addition, the bleed valves will close, shutting off the air condition systems. If you want to learn more about the engine and takeoff performance, Please check out those videos. You will find the links below. Are you ready? OK, here we go. Problem set. ATPS is on. Power is set. 70 knots. I control. Your control. V1, rotate. Positive rate. Gear up. Engine failure. We have auto feather, up trim. Cancel warning. Warning is cancelled. Gear is up, bleed falls lip. Okay, on the brace on, engage autopilot. 
autopilot engage. I click on check. Turn a little to the right. Select heading on. Heading sell me. Okay. Acceleration is next. Accelerate and altitude. Okay, select alt. Alt green. Alt green. Okay, power notch. Electricity. Oh, yeah, yeah, small. IAS mode. Okay. Set. Confirm engine number one. Confirm. One. Flight item. Confirm condition lever number one. Confirm. Feather. One, two, three. Fuel shadow. Okay. And we do engine one flame up at takeoff. I see condition radio my side. <laughs> Uh, mayday, mayday, mayday. One, two, three. Via engine flame out and request uh, continue straight ahead 3000 feet. Okay, with the uh, one, two, three, maintain present heading, climb 3000 feet, QNH 1018. Maintain heading, climb 3018. One, two, three. Okay, checklist. Okay, engine one, flame out the takeoff. Out of further. The rest is talking to air traffic control and reading checklists. Lots of checklists. After the engine flame out the takeoff checklist, we do the after takeoff checklist and the single engine operation checklist. Then we prepare for approach, check the weather, set up the navigates and do the approach briefing. Then we do checklist for descent and approach. And don't forget to inform the cabin crew and the passengers about what's going on. That's all for this time. Please support my channel by sharing with your friends and all that. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day and happy landing.